Hey everybody. So in this in this uh, video, I'm going to explain how to send in your DJI Pocket for repairs. Uh, so about last uh, February, I believe is when I bought my DJI Pocket. And um, unfortunately, three, four months in, I'm guessing it's a, I don't know, maybe it was a manufacturer error, but it just, the gimbal just stopped. Uh, it, I mean, it recorded, but it stopped working. I mean, it would just, uh, when you turn it on, it would just spin halfway and just get stuck. So the head would the head would get stuck, and the video wouldn't just not be smooth anymore. You know, that, I mean that's the whole purpose of having a DJI Pocket. But uh, I I did a little research, I did a little googling, and I figured out how to send in your DJI Pocket for repairs. So I'm just making this video to um, I guess kind of uh, uh, help people. Who have the same problem as me okay so you actually have to go to uh it's you would type in repair.dji.com so the, the this website is repair.dji.com and they have a whole uh interface or website here where you can actually submit um your request for repairs so it's pretty easy uh, once you submit you you put it in your uh, location uh, and it'll give you a form, but I, be, I believe every country has their own repair uh, location. Okay, and then so uh, I would just put, so here is where I just put the serial number of the product. Um, and then you would describe the malfunction. Um, and then once you go through this whole process, I believe you, you also have to show some proof that you have purchased it. So what I did was I would just go to Amazon, go to my um, order order history and just screenshot it and just submit a photo of um, uh, your purchase history or your proof of purchase. Once they review it and see that, I guess somebody sees it's, if it's legitimate or not, uh, they actually send you this UPS tracking or this UPS uh, shipping label so right here you would just print out your shipping label put it in a box package it up and then send it off to dji pocket so they make it pretty easy and then you know once they receive it i think it takes about a day or two to process but then you will end up getting um, a case number right here so you know they submit it they submit your case number and uh, this, I thought this was pretty cool. You could actually track the progress of your repair. Okay, so when you go to uh, this interface here, just put in your case number and 2XBNX. To submit it, um, you can actually track, uh, you can track the progress of your repairs. And so, this one got received in August 7th or August 31st. Actually, the case was accepted August 7th, went through August 31st. They assessed the damage. They um, determined that it was, uh, I guess, under their warranty. So it's free of charge, which I'm happy about. Now, if it's not free of charge, uh, there you will be sent an invoice to pay before they start repairs. Uh, if they determined that it was a uh, user error, I believe, or not under warranty. Um, but uh, for th in this case, this pocket was less than uh, a year old. So it started malfunctioning like three, four months in. Um, and here you can actually see uh, what's going on. So it's right now they're repairing it. They're going to do a flight test. They're going to wait for quality assurance. And after that's done, it's going to be shipped back. So very quick and easy process. If you ever have any issues with your DJI Pocket, um, DJI makes it very easy uh, to send it in, get it fixed, and send it, send it uh, right back to you.
Okay, this is from the DJI Pocket. Looks like it's fixed. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions. And as always, please like, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications, and I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.